Welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm glad you stopped by if you're new to the channel or if you've already subscribed, thank you very much for stopping by and subscribing to the show. Hopefully you're here to learn something about Microsoft Office. Um, that's what we're pretty much starting with with this uh, channel. So this is Microsoft Word 2010. And what I'm going to teach you tonight is just a few basic steps of how to set some stuff up here. Uh, we're just continuing with our configuration and just talking a little bit about that. So we want to work with it and uh, learn a little bit about how we're setting it up and how to use Microsoft Office. The first thing I want to start with is we talked before about the ribbon bar. Now, what I found today at work, what seemed to happen was we had a teacher uh, that actually uh, lost the ribbon bar. I said, Jack, I don't know what happens. Is I click on my ribbon, sometimes it's there. Uh, I click on it, sometimes it's not there. I don't know what happened. Somehow, when clicking around up in here, the only thing I can think of, they must have right clicked. And right here it says minimize the ribbon. And I'm going to do that over here again. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click it on. Let's do that again over here so you can see it. Right click and they minimized the ribbon. Now what happened was it's like, okay, I click sometimes, it's not there, watch. If I click, it's there. I click here, uh, it disappears. And that would drive you kind of crazy if you're not really sure of what's going on with it. So once again, just right click and you can unminimize it. So watch if you're uh, people there uh, who you're working with or maybe uh, somebody in the office uh, says, man, I don't know what happened to my Microsoft Office. You can look like the genius. And say, look, if I fix it, uh, will you buy me lunch? And they say, man, if you fix it, I'll buy you anything you want for lunch. Then have them take you out and get you a steak or something, you know, something nice for lunch. So that is how you fix that. The next thing I want to tell you about is uh, up here, there's also a little button um, that you can minimize the ribbon. So you can just click on that and minimize the ribbon. If you think it's in your way and you want to knock it out of your way for whatever reason, um, you just click that. Most people I talk to, or most people that I work with, are very used to that ribbon, so it's very easy to get along with. Okay, the next thing we want to talk about is how do we look at the rulers on the page? Uh, Mike, a lot of times Microsoft Office, even the past ones, uh, kind of default the rulers on. Well, 2010 defaults with the rulers off. Click on View and turn your rulers on. Now, you say, Jack, rulers or rulers, what is it good for? What it's good for, it gives you a very good uh, way of focal, uh, getting a focal view of actually being able to see your margins. If I click here, I can see, see that line coming up? That's my margin moving up. It's my margin moving down. You can see the cursor right there flashing. Make it even smaller. And let's bring that back up to where it was. You can also do with the top ones up here. We can move these back and forth. As you can see, that's moving back and forth. And here's another way that I like to do it so I can really see the page, how I'm setting up the page itself, is I turn on guidelines. When you turn on guidelines and you grab that, now you can actually move and you can see this moving. Left and right. Well, if we can get to it back. And this here, if you can see this little thing right here, if you've never used these before, those are actually tab stops. And we'll talk about tab stops as we're setting up a page when we start doing our memos and letters, resumes, and we're going to, I have a bunch of stuff uh, in, in my head that we want to work with and uh, try to create these lessons for you. Over here, you can see if I bring this up, you can see the top of the grid lines come up and they come back down. We could do the same thing at the bottom. Up and back down. You can always see this is where your text is going to be. Anything inside that grid lines is where your, where your text is going to be because that is your margins. And I'm sure you've typed letters before. You're just watching this to kind of get some guidelines of how, may, how to maybe use Microsoft Office a little better. Uh, these videos, I'm hoping, also will maybe help you uh, to maybe land that job. If you want to land a job in the office, maybe as a clerical worker, uh, these videos will help you too. As long as you follow along with these things, you'll do fine. Next, we're going to go ahead and we are going to shut off the grid lines. 
And we're going to talk about the cursor. And I don't know if you can see it here. We're going to try to bring this screen size up. We'll make it a little bigger. There we go. The cursor here, if you see the little three lines under it, when I insert, if I had typing on here, text, we're just going to put some text on here. Just throw some text up here real quick. Now what that means is when I bring this line up, I can actually insert text right here, right in the middle. You can see that? Or if you go on this side, you can get that text to go anywhere you want it to go. So it's going left. You can get it to go to the right. You can get it over here. It's going to the. It's going to the right over here. It's going pointing to the left. So you can put that text anywhere you want on the page. That's called the insertion point. Okay, let's get that back down here. Get rid of our text. The next thing I wanted to tell you a little bit about was um, auto saving. Let's go ahead and get rid of our ruler. And auto saving or file location is very important. I do this with all of our staff members. Um, so if you're working in the office, if you're working in your office and you may be the IT person in your office or the tech person, um, and you want to make sure everybody's stored into the proper place. Now, most of them probably store on their own computer. Bad idea. Absolutely horrible idea. It scares me to death because you don't back up each individual computer. What I would suggest, uh, if you don't already have it, is have a server model. <coughs> and what a server does is the server actually allows you to have a storage, someplace you can store your files on. What we do is everybody stores all their files on one big server, right? Not, don't think of a big server as a big room full of computers. Uh, big server, basically, I'm talking about uh, a big hard drive in that server, uh, such as like a two terabyte. So it, it, there's a lot of storage space. They store it on there, and then we back that one server up every night, and it backs up everybody's files. It's very clean. It's a very nice way of doing things. It's very easy to watch that one server's backups instead of trying to Walk around with an external hard drive, back up everybody's computer, and take that home at night. Doesn't sound uh, too realistic. So anyway, go under File, go to Options. Right here under Save. Click on Save, and it's going to be right here. There's a couple things I want you to look at. First one is says Save Auto Recover Information Every, and it says 10 minutes. Well, it says 5, I'm sorry. The default is 10. Now, change that to 5. Just go over it and change it to 5. The next thing I want to tell you about is Auto Recovery File Location. This is normally set to the individual user's computer, which is ordinarily perfect and well and fine. You don't have to worry about that. What that's doing is, um, it, it's kind of funny to me because Microsoft set the program up to say, hey, if it crashes, we're going to try to help you out. Uh, if Microsoft Word would crash or Excel would crash or any of the programs would crash, this gives us a way of a place where that auto recovery file is basically doing a save for you every five minutes. You're working along, or let's say there's a power disruption in your building. Something happens, or the power goes out. Um, you can actually bring that program back up after you reboot your computer and it'll say, do you want to auto recover that file? And you didn't save it, you didn't do anything, but wherever was the last save, that file will be recreated for you and brought back up. So that's pretty cool if you think about that. The default file location. We normally at work, we set this to what we call the U drive or the user's drive. Again, that's on a file server. You may want to set that to, uh, maybe you have an H drive. Some people call it their home drive. It, that came from the old Unix days. <coughs> but anyone, whatever you want to set it up for, set it up for that. Main thing is, is please try to get it off of that C drive. Get it off the computer. Because if the computer itself crashes, you're stuck, guys. I mean, you know, or girls, if you're out there and you, you are the tech person for your office and somebody's computer crashes and you were responsible for watching their files, you can't watch them on their C drive. 
Okay, it's, it's very, very hard and it's difficult. So get that off of there. Um, get it on like a U drive. And we'll talk about that. Further down the road, if you're not sure of that, email me at jackstechcorner at gmail.com and I'll work with you. I'll talk to you. Um, I even have remote services if you want me to remote out to your organization and try to help you figure something out. We can Skype. Uh, we can do whatever you need. I also do some uh, consulting work on the side, so if you need help, by all means, just let me know, and I'll, I'll give you a hand. I want to get you up and running wherever you may be. Uh, we'll, we'll figure something out and get you running and get your files safe. Uh, that's one thing I pride myself on is storage and keeping people's files safe for them without them even knowing I'm doing it. Uh, so they sleep easier. I sleep easier. Everybody's happy. <coughs> Excuse me. So with that said, that's all I wanted to show you tonight was a little bit more of the setup. Uh, and talk to you a little bit about file recovery and auto um, auto recovery, what that means uh, to you. So if you're not subscribed to the show, please subscribe to the show. Uh, I'd love to have you on board with us. And believe me, these shows are going to get more and more in-depth with Microsoft Office, uh, all of it. And we're going to be looking. There's so much into it. That's why I want to do these shows. Uh, it upsets me that people spend all this money for Microsoft Office and use like 8% of it. So, not that you ever use 100%, but hopefully with my help, I can teach you, and like I said, maybe even get you that clerical job you're looking for, or make you a better tech person in your office, whatever you might be. So, until next time, you know, keep up with Microsoft Office, keep playing around. Uh, I always say, clicking is learning. So, if we always remember that, click, 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 you're going to learn, 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 and I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.